Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52, the first quarter final. We've got Zahu and his Wood Elves versus Devak and his Chaos Dwarves. And what a packed booth we have. We've got Dimmy G, Purple Chest and Calcium. Hello. 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 <laughs> yeah, so interesting match. Zahu starting with a Daka here. He's got a Wizard and a Babe and uh, a bunch of loners. Devak's got 12 players and a pretty nice team, actually. Pretty nice team for facing these Wood Elves. It's pretty good, isn't it? Like, uh, the, the bulls are lacking, but um, the kind of min maxiness of it works out quite well versus the low TV woodies. It's definitely got some ways into this game, Jim. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm really not surprised we're seeing the withdrawn offense here. It makes perfect sense from the elf point of view. Um, what the Chorf team doesn't have is as interesting as what it does have. Um, it's total lack of mobility with terribly terrible bulls that can be tied down very easily. It's only real sort of backfield hitting power is perhaps that frenzy tackle wrestle hobgoblin. Um, and that's obviously a glass cannon with its AV7 and the fact that it is stunning move six. Um, the, the chorfs are okay. So if the, if the elves can stay away from the chorfs and away from all of that hitting power, you've got to think they've got the speed, agility, you know, the, the chutzpah to get away from these bulls and hobgoblins fairly simply. Mm. I take it the Chorfs won the kickoff result um, and opted to receive. Uh, sorry, uh, the, dwarf, uh, the Wood Elves um, won the kickoff and opted to receive, which is interesting. Yeah, Do you think? Did, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I love your comment on the bulls there, Jim. They are definitely lacking tackle. <laughs> Yeah, they are. They are. I can break tackle. I can break tackle's worse. But, you know, you'd like to go block, break tackle, tackle, right? It's your first three. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm missing all of that. Certainly on one ball, you absolutely want a strength four, possible move nine if you really need to, but move six. Tackle piece that can go just about anywhere because of break tackle. That's really, really helps Jorf's tick. Can I just ask um, the experts on the withdrawn offence, is that a pretty good defence against it there? It looks pretty solid to me. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. But, like, if someone yeah, does this, right. it just means you take two turns to break through kind of thing, you know? Like, it's it probably is the correct-ish way of doing it. The problem is the wizard, right? Yeah. And the main problem is, like, if, if, the, if the attack... Then they're going to leave something open, aren't they? So, like, holding like this is fine. Yep. But if you hold like this, then you're not getting the hits. So. And I like the stand firm on the outside and the balls on the inside. Yeah, I would prefer the stand firm on the outside, too. Yeah. Um, it does mean that the Wood Elves are almost certainly going to come up one of the flanks. Yeah. Well, they may bowl, even have to use the, the wizard to do it. The hobo, right? Yeah, I mean, you can, but the fact is, you can, you can leap over Dimmy. You've got. Um, you know, you can just take the bulls down with two assists and then deal with the hobgoblins next turn. Or just dodge past him because there's no tackle there. It, it, well, there's there's various ways through. I mean, Jim's the real expert. Surely you, you don't use the wizard. Surely break. you do not use you the wizard. Not. Oh, yeah, I mean, we would refrain. We, we, we would blitz the bull and see how it goes and then... So you can blitz this bull that's on the far left because the hobgoblin behind doesn't have tackle and then you can just dodge through. It's one in nines, and that's, you know, your agility guy, it's one in 36s. So you can one just nine, run past nine, it. Like, yeah, one I mean, you can use the whiz. Now for sure, right? Yeah, because now you now you just get this bull down and you attack this flank. So you're getting him on the, on, in here, which is brilliant. So I probably should have done an extra GFI there. I don't know if you yep, 100%, Jim. Um, and also, and think, you, you can isolate that bull centaur as well, can't you? After blitzing it, keep it isolated on the sideline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. But it wouldn't amaze me if we saw the early breakthrough because the, the 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 other tactic which you see a fair amount is the two turn breakthrough. So this turn they after this hit if it goes put pressure on the hobgoblin and on the two chorfs that are nearest to the pack of elves, and then just plan to hold out in numbers and attack on the sound the next level through next turn because not enough chorfs can make over to that side so they could still be outnumbering everything there. Okay, instead he's going for the breakthrough dodge pass to the one I outlined oh, first. To, oh, okay. I was going to say he has to because otherwise this war dancer's getting surfed, right? Yeah, it's it's also because the bull didn't go down. If the bull was down, it would be much, much easier. 
more dances. Yeah. Still getting still getting surfed, isn't it? Put, yeah, I'm surfing. pressure on that. Oh, he's not going for it. He's not going for it. I would have put a couple of players in front to stop this. I would have surfed that. Yeah, I would have been all over both those chops and the hobgoblin with every other elf, and then I'm pushing through next turn because not enough things make it across. Uh, would you trade a ball for a dancer? And if they do, I pull back and instantly switch to the other side because I'm so much faster. Yeah, all day, Dimmy. Yeah, <laughs> Dance, yeah. 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 Uh, it seems like a really good trade to me. Particularly as the balls are particularly crap. Like, it's not, you're not going to switch at this point, mate. So just catch yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah absolutely. Good. And it, like this way, is the ball's still going to get surfed. And you're not trading for the dancer. Oh, he's going for the surf. Yeah, he's going yeah. for the surf. Oh. They can't surf it this way. Yeah, oh, he's got, got frenzy. frenzy. He's got, got frenzy. frenzy. Yeah, that was. That was. Not... The follow up was. That was all. The follow up oh, was bad. Cows. Well, the follow up was bad, and he paid a big price for it. Yeah, he had to jam in after that just to if only to protect the dancer. Like, hang on a minute, it's did not, he not? It's did a, he not app over? Bust. It's a move bust. Yeah. Whoa, well, like it's, it's a fifty-fifty. Yeah. It's just a oh, right, all right, okay, okay, sorry, all right, okay, that makes sense. So I guess he didn't want to protect it because he'd be like <laughs> putting better players than a rookie dancer at risk. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Kaz, it was horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> what do I know about Wood Elf play, eh? I know, that they're, I know that they're fucking easy and any twat can play them, but other than that... <laughs> Honestly, uh, I was that twat. <laughs> I mean, right in now, Inarian's saying... cashed that check for years and years, and he, oh, look how good I am and play wood elves. Fuck off, Inarian. <laughs> we should all be saying no, 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 but it's kind of hard to say no to that, Cass. It's, yeah, um, yeah. you know, there is a point there, or it wouldn't be funny. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, for, the, for the record, I love Inarian. Yeah, he's a little bit. For the record, I do as well. For the record, I don't mean this evilly, but it did really make me laugh. I was on Misspelled Drew's channel, and uh, she was talking about the move to the new rules. She said, yeah, I used to really enjoy Wood Elves, but uh, I find in the new rules I'm really enjoying Underworld instead. I don't know why. <laughs> no, because she's smart, PC. I mean, <laughs> well, look, I did, I did point out why, and she went, yes, you might be right. <laughs> so fair, fair play. Um, yeah. to, uh, I, I like you know. winning games of Blood Bowl. Uh, exactly. She did enjoy the top of the tree race, and now she enjoys the new top of the tree race. Well, what a shocker. Oh, you get those. Um, <laughs> you get those. I, I, enjoy, I enjoy scraping the barrel, and that's why I like me Black Orcs and me... Uh, Absolutely. Some people Bennett. really do enjoy the challenge. Um, you know, I, I love goblins. One of the things I like about them is how difficult it is to make it work. I just like having an excuse when I lose. <laughs> <laughs> that's also fun. It's the team! They're terrible! Oh my god! <laughs> and I can't stop myself, you know me, I still try hard. But it's, it means if it doesn't work, you can kind of go, yeah, well, it was just goblins. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's less stress because it's, you've got that There's out. no pressure, yeah, no pressure. Yeah. Literally, the only thing I care about in the 2020 rule set is the plus two DP death roller. Seriously, <laughs> that is literally the only thing I care about. It's wow. glorious. It's not glorious, Kaz. You cannot glorify that sort of behaviour. Oh, oh honestly. Well. Okay, we oh, should we should do Jim a favour and talk a little bit about the game. Cause yeah, we should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, this is really interesting. What happened is with the withdrawn offence slightly going too early because of the way that the chores came forwards in good order, but left that bull out hanging out. The the sort of not very good assault on the bull, and then not as we thought jamming in and just re, you know reinforcing that war dancer and pushing the assault through up the left uh, does, does mean that the elves really had the speed wrong. agility to swap back to the right. It's really broken the play up. Um, but uh, you know, nothing is, is certain. Imagine if that lovely bull near the war dancer had break tackle, which of course it doesn't. Yes. But hey, it's I don't even know what four game plus. Is Imagine not being able to use multiple rerolls per turn. It's just crazy. Uh -huh. right? And no tackle as well. So it's like it's just crap, isn't it? But if it was a good bull, yeah, it's four plus for a thirty percent. It's. It's not exciting. I might go for it anyway, though. It's, it's kind of well, why not? It's in for a you expect the elves well, to score on this drive anyway, so... If the wizard in play, then that is a massive, like, swing towards that, I think. Well, I wouldn't have done that with the ball. But he is three dicing back. here, isn't he? He's getting a three dice in the catcher, so... Yeah. Yeah, I still bring the ball back, three man. This like, yeah, just put lots of pressure on and, and hurt stuff. Yeah. I mean, the ball needs to come back there, I'm sorry. 
I mean, the realistic, you know, what is realistic for the Chorfs on this drive? I, I think that it's really hard to imagine that the Elves don't end up scoring. So some decent attrition, and if you possibly can try and make them use the Wiz, would be, I'd call that an absolute, you know, a good drive's work. An absolute win. Because even this, evil as it looks, is so simple to solve for the Wood Elves. There we are, gone. Choose. Bye bye now. Oh, there's another thing I like about the 2020 rule set. Wood Elves suck in it. <laughs> <laughs> they, they really don't. Yeah. They're... They're, they're, they're still they're still good. They're just they're just not OP anymore, isn't it? That's the thing. Yeah. 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 Even the, even is... with even in NAF, right, where they're still getting in tier one every single time, and everyone says, "Oh, they're not good anymore." They're still like fifty-two percent win rate, which is completely like you know totally yeah. fine. Like it's just that they're not OP as fuck when they were like fifty-seven percent or whatever, or fifty-eight percent in the old rules. Like they're still they're still a top team. Of this turn we've seen, there is one go for it that they used sprint on that they wouldn't have been able to do. Everything else would have been exactly the same dice. Even the leap. Leap has been nerfed, but nowhere near as badly as everyone thinks it has. It's been ever so slightly nerfed. Well, so it's the, the, the thing with the leap is now that it's actually counterplay if you're dicing them, isn't it? Whereas before, or like, you know, if you're doing yeah. well against them, whereas before, like, no matter how, how well you did against them, they'd, all have a pretty, they'd always have a pretty decent shot to get in, and you couldn't yeah. really counter that. Whereas Welcome now, to the H cage. Yeah, whereas now, yeah, the PC's favourite, the H cage, absolutely wrecks them. So, so leaping into multiple tackle zones uh, incurs a penalty, yeah? Yes, but if you can pull the cage apart even slightly, you can get it down to a 3+, plus very easily. Right. Am I super quiet? And certainly I a 4+, plus Sorry, is, maybe is leaning back. so achievable that, you know, it's just not tricky. And as I pointed out in that article I wrote, actually a 5+, plus into the cage, if you can throw a reroll at it, is 55% to get there. So the idea that Wood Elves lack agency against the ball now is just laughable. Yeah. That was a brilliant article as well, PC. It's just they don't have things they used to have, and what they used to have was a win rate that laughed at every other race. Well, now they don't. Get used to it. But they're still damn good. Last reroll gone. And there's a suspicion. Double one! Double one. Oh, oh yeah, no, that does put the, uh, the most important elf on the field and the actual ball uh, available. Yeah, with this, even a chorf this, in this range. This should have been on the uh, on the sideline, eh? Yeah, th this wasn't. This was a lazy position from an elf saying, "I'm mm. I'm just in." Ch and he wasn't. He, he didn't take into account those three percent chances. The pow. Here we go. A stun. Oh. Huge stun. Huge stun. And available ball. Oh, if he can get this elf off and bring both balls up. Mm. But we've. You know, We've all tried to get an elf off everyone. This really hasn't been a vintage Dakar, has it? No, it wasn't. It wasn't great, that. No, it wasn't well done. The wood, the, it all started with the dancer getting surfed, didn't it? And... Yep. Yeah, the dancer getting surfed was horrendous. Interestingly, for the throw a bit of leg theory, people, um, it was the, a slight mispositioning mistake from the Chaos Dwarves that started it all, wasn't it, Jim? Yeah, it was, yeah. That then wasn't taken advantage of well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Which I would have definitely. Was partly by some partly choice. Yeah, I mean, I would have definitely blitzed that, blitzed that, uh, blitzed that full centre. And if he powers it, it's it's so much better, isn't it? So, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think he followed it up well after he did the blitz. Whoa! Made all the dice. Rolled all the. Di oh my god! He wow. rolled all the dice. He oh really did sickening. roll all the dice. Sickening. Absolutely sickening. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I mean, his only option was to roll all the dice. Yeah. Yeah. But he absolutely did. Lords, that was through tackle, and it was three, three, two, three, two. It wasn't even that hard, right? But it wasn't was even that hard, was no. Uphill. The uphill failed, like to power. Obviously, the uphill power would have made that amazing. Even the push would have made it a lot better. But still, I 
I think partly that was the Chaos Dwarves' fault. They left the ball on the ground. You don't do that against the Elstrian. Yeah, he should have tried to dodge off the last, uh, last yep. ball. And picked it up. And also, I think one of the balls could have got back and been just made some of those dodges even harder. Mm. And they didn't. They asked around trying to get hits. So actually, it was a really good drive by the Wood Elves, wasn't it? Um, they, <laughs> kept, they, kept, they, kept, they kept their wizard in hand. So what what do we fucking know? <laughs> the perfect air turn stall. <laughs> oh, dear. And hello, everybody. Yeah, one high circling. I forgot to change the uh, forgot to change the title and game and stuff from D and D. But there you go. Um, it is Blood Bowl, glorious Blood Bowl. Is there, is there a I think this lad is the lad that one turned last time, isn't it? He one turned against the Pyrrhals? I mean, it can be done. Bulls, bulls move nine, which means you've only got to push them a little tiny bit. Four I mean, spaces. they kind of move seven, right? More, more like move seven for the one. Yeah. <laughs> then, then, it, this, isn't a, this isn't a Skaven. It's happening, record. boys. It's, it's happening. A, He's going for it. It's a, like Dark Elf one turn. This is the blitz. Okay, I guess because he's got so few players. Yeah. He's, no, he's going to reposition in the. Uh, Has to get there. around ahead of it. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is interesting. Well, he's he's. Uh... That's okay. And he's got the frenzy, Jimmy. Yeah. He's got yeah. the frenzy. He's got the spaces Whoa. to do it. He's going to be in range. Created a little tunnel of love there. Lovely. <laughs> Oh, I didn't get the power, so it's going to be a dodge. I think, I think that, that move should be called the love boat myself. Mm. I think that was great. Imagine if this guy had been over there or whatever, and then he could have moved in and you would have still had the blitz. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? He's now got a ludicrous throw to a 5-plus catch, but still, it's on. There's like Ariston. Oh! <laughs> nearly did it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, only got four on the catch. If that if that uh, elf had gone down, he'd have made the catch too. Nice run of play, though. Ni nice, Lovely. nice maneuver. Yeah. Lovely to see. Yeah. Move seven, which is effectively what the bull is, as Jim says, is because uh, the plan is it's a it's a move seven because the two go for it. Yeah. So the max then move you, you nine is what, the same um, as someone that moves seven and only moves two, like a dark elf. Two five plus dodges as GFIs well. Wasn't it? Are tough. But he did have the frenzy to like to get the last. He did, yes. So. Yeah, which he used very, very well, creating that chimney to push that bull in range. Really nice. If only it was Blood Bowl 2020 rules and you could have used multiple rerolls on the account. Mm. That's really is gonna change how rats and stuntmen's play, isn't it? And then, of course, his bulls without break tackle would not be strange because break tackle is terrible in Blood Bowl 2020. Yes. Correct. And Chalks are a bit terrible as well, to be fair. Well, I mean, oddly, they're not doing too bad on Fumble, Jim. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, like, it's like Wood Elves, right? They're, they're still yeah, they're, they're exactly, yeah. They're yeah. still good, they're just... But it's a big, yeah, you're spot big on. thing. Losing, losing break tackle is big. Yes, it is. Uh, and they also lost claw palm, of course. Claw palm, yeah, losing losing claw palm is a slight issue, isn't it? <laughs> but in and also because they haven't actually had a spike yet, so they're still a team of legend. Uh, they've only been given access to one big guy, whereas most teams have been given access to a choice. And I think Jorfs with a troll again um, would be glorious because they've always yeah. suited a troll rather than a minor. Yep. Um, but at the moment they've only got a minor. But the minor is the only uh, animal savagery minor. The rest are all Unchained Fury, and it makes it much more reliable. So people are loving coaching their chores with a Mino, which I never thought I would say. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to leave you for a minute. My, uh, my son is, uh, I think, off to... Oh, no, he can't be off to bed. But anyway, he wants some attention, so I'm going to go deal with the annoying little kid. I can't believe chainsaws aren't available to every team in the 2020 edition, actually. But we're getting I'm very near. There's a yeah, lot a bit of them disappointed. Around. A bit disappointed about that, to be honest. Most of them have a saw, though, don't they? Yeah, there's there's a lot of saws in the game now. They may not all be in Blood Bowl three yet, but there's a lot in the game. Mm. Um, and they don't know if they go wrong. It doesn't. It's not a turnover. Mm. Which Rocking is nice. Fumble, very. They've got. They're on every team, aren't they? So every team will they have are. a one turn chance if they're down TV. And of course, Acorn. 
though he comes without hands, unless you're Elliot. <laughs> Yeah, wait for November for all the star players, yeah. Oh, I wish Blood Bowl 3 wasn't so terrible. Well, this is a kind of like, you know, the usual kind of lame defense where you, haven't, you can't really do anything, so you just dodge and blitz and hope for the best. Nine players. Uh, Chorce will obviously just uh, roll down the field with Mighty blowing as much as they can. And, you know, if a, a bolt might come in and uh, win the game for the Woodies. Has Dimmy passed out? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> Hello. Are you alright, Dimmy? Yeah, I'm alright, mate. He hasn't said anything in a while, so I just wondered if you were still around. <laughs> just ordering the Chinese, you know, the pleasure of uh, Saturday night. Yeah, no ball. This could have been a bolt time, honestly. This could have been a decent bolt here. Because, like, you could blitz this guy that he was in contact with. Bolt there. Leap in, fuck off. And then this one can fuck off as well. Uh, through there, like you know, the weak, the weak diagonal there. So everyone could have come through this weak diagonal if you'd got the pal. Interesting. Obviously, he's got to be thinking about the turn now because it's uh, it's the only chance he's got of winning in normal time, and you'd really like to win in normal time when you're just in nine players. <laughs> I, w I went quiet there for a minute because uh, my eldest son just rushed upstairs saying, are you watching the Misfit Boxing on the zone? It's actually tag team influencer boxing and it's gloriously bad. Oh my God, they're so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Good bit of windmill action, Jim. <laughs> mm. Want to see some windmilling in? <laughs> oh my God, it's so bad. But anyway, so... Uh, yeah, my, my free monitors are in a full effect right now. <laughs> I will try to pay attention to this game. But let's be honest, Purple Chest is in the booth. And frankly, when Purple Chest talks Blood Bowl, the rest of you heathens need to listen. Because he knows more than you, and he will improve your pathetic life if you do listen to him. Just saying. <laughs> your pathetic life. Just saying, you know. <laughs> Can we mute cats? <laughs> Let's be fair, even when PC isn't in the booth where he's dealing with his son for a minute, he still knows more than everyone else in Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I don't like this. I, I think you probably should have gone in last turn, and maybe even this turn, right? Like, I think you've got to use the wizard recipe here, because I just think... You're just asking to get hit, aren't you? you? You are just asking to lose players. It's, yeah, it's a bold strategy, Cotton. It's getting tougher and tougher, because if you lose the toss, then you're just in, like, a worse spot in overtime than you are now, right? Like, okay, yeah. half of the time, if you win if you win the toss and you, and you get the ball and you've got a wizard, then it helps. But even then, if you win the toss and you don't have a wizard, you've still got a good chance to score. So I think you probably should have... You know, Probably should have bolted the, the turn before, like uh, if that was turn 10 or whatever, when he probably should have done the bolt. But you know, he still can now, it's just getting harder and harder, he's further away. Um, I guess there's more space in behind the, the chaffs now, which is good. You're not going to get many. Oh, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't. I guess he couldn't go Venger Bus without. He could just not blitz. <laughs> yeah, blitz maybe, maybe not. Yeah, not blitzing would have been a thing there, wouldn't it? Mm, I think so. No bolt, though. Oh, he's going in. Nope. Stand firm, it's hell of a skill, isn't it? <laughs>
<laughs> Jay Bazza. How you doing, Bazza? Huge, uh, huge button now, isn't it? <clears throat> I should really hate Jay Bazza, Jim, right? He's better at Blood Bowl than me. He's better at Taekwondo than me, right? You know, I really should dislike him, shouldn't I? Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, lo I love him. He's brill. He's amazing. And now, you know, now it's looking really hard because now there's tackle all around the ball. I guess you can get yeah. lucky with a fireball. Like, maybe a fireball could be totally devastating. And he's got, he's got the scoring threat now, so... Keep the wizard to overtime, play for overtime. Yeah, but I just think that's not a good idea, right? Because now the overtime is going to be with less players to take advantage of the wizard. If he's on defense yeah. and if he's on offense, he probably could have won without it. And you might not give yourself a chance to win before it. Yeah. No, I, I'm with you. I, I think uh, aggressive wood elf play was the order of the day here, but... Uh, ball based, GG. Ball based, sorry, I meant war dancer based. Still GG. It's you know what I meant. GG. He has, yeah, Ducky, yeah. Devak really should have made some 3Ds. Uh, he does not max 3Ds. Fireball or bolt? Okay, so we've gone with a bolt now. Ooh, that's a bad scat. That is a bad scat. You needed a bounce on a player there, didn't you? Yeah, really. <clears throat> or just in one of these two, so it's twos. Like, you know, two tackle zones. But needs the pow here. Uh, scatter onto the ball and then uh, oh no stand firm oh okay yeah cool. yeah in our G6 we trust our G5 should I say gets the, gets the pick up oh. gets the dodge away but not much he can do apart from stand. Is he going to lob it? He is. Gets the lob. Oh my Gets god. The catch. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, god, outrageous. Is the, is the thing in range? Well, the Chorps only have themselves to blame. There is such a thing as over committing, isn't there? I guess. Yeah, yeah. wow. Well, there you go. Shows what I know, eh? Fantastic use of the wizard by. Uh, by <laughs> yeah. <Tony. laughs> Really did hold it to the last second. Oh, is this? Oh, it's chain to get the wrestler in rackler in range. Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cause. Oh, that was really nice. Yeah, yeah, he had to re-roll it though, didn't he, to yeah. make it happen? But really nice though. Really good spot. Really good play. Gets the pal. Saves the game. Maybe that is still, still one nil down. <laughs> yeah, that is a great recovery turn, but it might be too little, too late. Yeah. Yeah, he still needs to like pick it up and hand off to this guy. Too... Especially, surely you just take out that hobo. You take out the major scoring threat, Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he's doing, isn't he? He's already putting the assist. You can get him down, though. Or not. He's he's got a lot. He's got a lot. I don't know about that. Didn't need that, surely. Yeah, it's got down tackle, and it's a down tackle on the on the ball is pretty good. Oof! Did cast himself. <laughs> Adji fail as well. Adji bust as well. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. But yeah, I wonder if you could have just put him in the front. Nah, I'm in him on the ball, but then obviously just two Ds him and then. 
I guess you would scatter the ball or something. Yeah, exactly, Ducky. Yeah, just refusing the 3D and then doing really nice chains is weird, isn't it? Oh, so there we go. We've got the chain here to get this guy out. Lovely. <coughs> yeah, maybe we should just put him on there. Oh, wow, going for the... Oh, he's going for the bull. Yeah. <coughs> Interesting. Gets it. Oh my god. Oh, dice lord. Ooh. No. Get it. Oh my god. Go for the 3 2 through tackle. Sure. Lads, boys, lads, we got a game. Lads, boys, oh, lads. lads. Lads, boys, lads. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. <clears throat> Guys would have walked out of this tabletop tournament if that was him. <laughs> it would have been like. <laughs> See ya! Yeah. yeah. There, there would have been there would have been a 360 board action going on there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, to be fair, um the Wood Elves diddled him first half to an extent, didn't they? So, you know I mean I hate Wood Elves in any I, yes. I, I like I hate Wood Elves more than I hate Chorfs, so uh fully deserved on the uh <laughs> front. But yeah, like it still sucks, it? it still sucks. Yeah, I hate wood elves with a burning passion of a thousand suns. So, you know, it, not not much. Yeah, you won't see players like this on football three without getting eye, eye strain, headache, <laughs> motion sickness. You're joking, then. Yeah, the moment someone makes a play like this, it's Concession City, isn't it? Yeah. You're taking you you're taking a trip on the concession train. <laughs> Stamp firms mean that there's no uh, there's no one turn, so it's all down to who wins the toss. And the elves have got a chance, yeah. right? If they win the toss, the seven. But, yeah. Um, I think they're pretty much fucked if they don't win the toss. Use the technical term. That's some top tier analysis, Jim. I, I mean, I, I wish I was as good as you. It's football sometimes. So That's nice. fair. Yeah. That's that's the job of analysts, isn't it? It's to state the fucking obvious. Like you know, if if, if they score more touchdowns, they have a chance of winning. <laughs> Jim is the Santanio pandemonium of Blood Bowl when he jumps on a table and starts twirling his hips. You better pay attention, you lowly dogs. <laughs> I watched from dusk till dawn the other night. Sorry, I was just... going to say I have no idea where any of those references are from. <laughs> Wow, you don't, you didn't get that. I got it straight away, of course. Of course. Have you seen The Still Dawn, Dimmy? Of course I have. Like, it's the, one of the best films ever made until the last half an hour. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that just makes it Weird. even better because it's so ludicrous, isn't Weird. it? You know, but... Weird. <clears throat> Women turning into snakes and stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, well. Rick, the Woodies did not win the toss. And something. yeah, this is pretty brutal. Alona army. Or just to save his last reroll, I guess. Carl Ancelotti just thought. <laughs> oh, his name's Carl Ancelotti. I love that name. Good name, mate. Good name. He's back. Oh, Salma Hayek. Yeah. Well. Oh, what a great movie. <laughs> uh, Carlo? Acting in that. <laughs> Love the cut of your jib, right? Why not go for some hits on the chorfs? Love it. But there's two small problems with that, right? One, it's what else hitting chorfs. And two, it's what else hitting chorfs. And it's such a major issue, I thought I'd better say it twice. <laughs> now, that's another pop culture reference. So nice, I had to say it twice. You know, you know that's AJ when he beat uh, Andy Ruiz the second time, mm. and then lost to. What is he doing anyway, AJ? Right now, he's fighting a tomato cannon, he or something. I don't know, Kaz, mate. Honestly, I uh, I watched a video back of the speech after oh the. Oh my god, that was so um, 
it yeah, terrible, it's it? even worse the second time, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's even worse the second time. And, uh, yeah, it was horrendous. Well, Dillian White always said that he was acting, you know, acting like the diplomat and nice guy. Yeah, Dillian he's... White always said he was a wrong un. And He's, mate, he's just a yeah. rude boy from Watford, isn't he? It's like... But then, like, like if I was ever a champion of anything, I would never be a nice guy. Do you know? Like, not a like nice guy. Like, do you know what I mean? But I would always be a knob. Do you know what I mean? It's just like <laughs> you're born a knob. Like, you can't, you can't hide that. Like, do you know what I mean? Well, you can. Some people can. Can't. Some people choose to. I choose not to, but some people choose to. Whistles innocently. You choose not to hide your knob. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Lord, Lord Fail wins the pop culture reference round two. Uh, it was a Red Dwarf reference. Uh, sorry, yeah, Red Dwarf re reference. I nearly said White Dwarf then. Holy shit, <laughs> Games Workshop on my mind. But, uh, yeah, so... Oof, instant one on the first dice roll. Into Kaz. Oh, my God. That was a shim as well, because the Devak did manage to split his whole team here, right? So like, Yeah, he, he it wasn't even gave, that bad at that point. Yeah, he actually gave the only... He probably should have re-rolled that Zahu, because it was like literally the only chance he was going to get, and now it's gone. It was so the... verging on greatness, Jim, that term. Um, I really liked the way the dwarves are stabilised. I thought that was nice. Um, they really put a nice cage around the ball, which was very difficult for the elves to assault. Not that they were ever going to, they didn't have the range to do it, but it was still a, a nice basis. <coughs> Got the line of scrimmage hits, kept the bulls up there to keep the wings safe while he did it. And then I expected the bulls to sort of fall back, both of them, into the space between the line of scrimmage and the cage. Um, giving some continuity between the entire team, but the fact they didn't, and then the elves didn't take advantage, I think is suicidal. You're absolutely right. I, w I would just like to make a massive shout out to Rando in chat. For being the most intelligent person in chat. <laughs> Randall, oh, because Dimmy, you're the champ of our hearts. Yeah, I there it was we go. said four on the hair, which to be fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a fair comment. However, people that type yeah. in capitals always, of course, some of the smartest and most reasonable people in society. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, general, in general, as a general rule. Correctly, PC. I mean, come on. <laughs> He spelt heart in such a way that reminds me of an 80s um, American serialized TV series called Heart to Heart. And when they met, oh, it was Moira. That leak. <laughs> oh, my God. That I'm not going to criticize them. anyone for a, a why you are your. Uh, I think it's absolutely, if as long as it communicates, it is effective. Like. Honestly, mate, that like tilts me the most because there is someone, I'm not going to name them, that like literally complains about. Uh, the way I spell your and you are, right? And it is like not a medical condition, but it's like like uh, well, is dyslexia a medical condition? Yes, it is. Like, a medical yeah, condition. so like I mean, actually, it, it's a disability. It's a learning disability. Yeah, and I and I think I have that, and uh, yeah, and it gets pointed out to me regularly, and it infuriates Did me. I am ever so slightly dyslexic enough that I would get about 2% in an exam. Yeah, um, yeah. But it, that's not an excuse for terrible typing. You, know, you can learn to overcome no, these. No, 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 but, but I, I genuinely struggle with it. And then the, the person points it out regularly. And they're not even English. And they're like, I speak better English. And I'm, like, I'm fine with that. Yeah. But like, honestly, no, leave, I mean, leave typing... me in a room with that person alone for like one day, mate. <laughs> my, my typing is terrible. That's, I think, that's unrelated I to my dyslexia. Yeah, but, uh... No holds barred. Like, <laughs> pinfalls anywhere. Like, that's all no, I want. On the other hand, I've got a huge cock, so there are things that make up for it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Look, at, look at Jimmy highlighting the wood elves that are dead. That Great brings chance. me glee, like, honestly. Like, I hate chorfs as well. <laughs> Like this is like this is literally the most yeah. cancerous matchup in Blood Bowl. <laughs> <It's laughs> well, like, you've got to think they're not particularly special chores. You've got to think at some point someone's just going to go, yeah, I'll I'll take these out. I don't, I don't know. Like they're, they're going to struggle against the Morks. There's no pom. There's no claw pom. Like, and there's no real mobility. Yeah, but the, the guy's done tight. well, mate. He should have lost the pro. He, has. He, he did a one turn that was outrageous. That was yeah. yeah, he's done yeah. Yeah. So and had like... some great chains, and I had one today to save this game, right? He's yeah, absolutely. Player, yeah, it was oh, well, it's, it's not, I'm, I haven't criticised the coach at all. Like I said, I thought even the turn where they split the team, I thought there was, you know, there was enough with that ball between them. It was. I, I rate him. I rate him. I think. I, he's, I really he's... like what he's done. Yeah, it yeah. It just isn't yeah. a very good team. 
Yeah, the team is the team is poor. Like the balls are lacking, and uh, yeah. um, like you know, when when the balls are lacking, like are they going to get there? Like I, I don't know. I don't know. But I've seen. Moments it would really help if greatness. one of them could skill up and take break tackle. I've seen. Or even tackle. Greatness. Either one would really help. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. And um, like, and I tell you what, this is a, a like the wizard against Woody's. Like, this is a even how bad the Woody's are. Like, obviously the dancer got surfed and whatever. Yeah. But it, it was a uh, it was a banana skin, wasn't it? It was a banana skin for the Chorfs, and he's dodged it. So um, hats yep. off to uh, yep. friends and foes. And, Indeed. Uh, good Con luck. Congratulations, Devok. Commiserations, Zahu. Thank you very much, Dimmy, Purple Chest, and Calcium. Glorious having you all in the booth. Glorious. <laughs> Pleasure. Let's go, several. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.